Welcome back everyone, my name is Patrick, you're watching the Fanatic Rundown. Well, it didn't feel like that third period was ever going to end, but it finally does, and the Edmonton Oilers celebrate a massive 6-1 to victory over the Los Angeles Kings tonight to take a 2-1 series lead. This one was all Oilers tonight, they're definitely their most complete game of the series so far. They win two out of three. They're now up to 17 goals in the series in three games. One of those into an empty net, so 16 goals on LA Kings goaltender Cam Talbot. But I really don't know how much of it is Cam Talbot's fault. There's just no stopping these Oilers right now. I mean, I guess obviously there was a little bit stopping them. They lost 5-4 to four in overtime, but even still in that hockey game, they fought their way back. It can go either way in overtime, and tonight there was definitely no overtime. This one was all Oilers from start to finish. The Kings had their chances, some moments of momentum, but overall, this was a strong, total, start-to-finish effort from the Edmonton Oilers and a well-deserved 6-1 to victory to take the series lead tonight. Once again, it's a very long scoring summary. So let's get right back at it. And who else would start the scoring but Zach Hyman, Matthias Ekholm picking up the assist, a turnover by Drew Doughty. Zach Hyman ends up alone in front of the net, dekes out Cam Talbot on the second opportunity, puts it past him, gives the Oilers the one to nothing lead, and then Leon Dreisaitl off a beautiful, beautiful play by Evander Kane. Kane was going around the net, Puts the puck off the side of the net, leaving it there for Dreisaitl, and Dreisaitl just buries it past Cam Talbot. Talbot had absolutely no chance on that one. It was 2 nothing Oilers. The Oilers go on the power play. Surprisingly, with all the goals the Oilers have scored so far this series, Connor McDavid did not have one yet, but he would not be denied in the first period. Connor McDavid battling Cam Talbot in front of the net, wins the puck battle, puts it past him, giving the Oilers the 3 to nothing lead after one period of play. Definitely a statement period for the Oilers coming off that Game 2 loss. The lone goal of the night for the LA Kings comes in the second period. Drew Doughty, who hadn't scored in forever, scored last game and gets his second of the playoffs tonight from Quinton Byfield and Mikey Anderson. Stuart Skinner... It had to be said, I didn't focus on it too much in my last Fanatic rundown for Game 2, but Stuart Skinner definitely needed a bounce-back game. He has that tonight. This only lone goal that beats him by Drew Doughty, he had absolutely no chance on. That made it 3-1 to one at that point. The Kings, like I said earlier, had their moment of momentum there, but the Oilers get right back at it. A Vander Kane, a tip on a Cody Cece shot in front. Gives the Oilers a 4-1 to lead, and I think that one was the final blow for the Kings, really. It was 4-1 to Oilers after two. The third period just turns into an absolute slugfest. After every whistle, guys are fighting. The Oilers end up on a huge amount of power plays. It felt like the Oilers were almost on the power play for almost the whole third period. And as a result, they get a couple power play goals. On one of the five-on-threes, Zach Hyman gets his second of the night. Sixth of the playoffs so far from Connor McDavid and Ryan Nugent Hopkins to make it 5-1. to one. And then Leon Dreisaitl with his second of the night from Connor and Nuge as well makes it 6-1. to one. That's how this one ends tonight. The playoffs are here and my friends over at Deflect Apparel have everything you need to help cheer on the Oilers in their run for the Stanley Cup. They even have your furry fans covered too. Check them out at deflect.net. And use the code FANATIC20 at checkout for 20% off your order. Check out more in the description below and stay tuned for upcoming contests. But like I was saying, the third period was an absolute slugfest. Evander Kane got nailed almost in the head. It was pretty close to the head. Like part of the hit definitely hit him in the head. And there was just penalty after penalty after penalty. The Oilers... Probably a little bit fortunate if you're a Kings fan. I could see how you could come away from that third period pretty pissed off with all the penalties. LA Kings head coach Jim Hiller was definitely furious. The Oilers, a little lucky there, I'll say, with all those power plays in the third period. But at that point, 
I don't think they were huge deciding factors in this hockey game. Maybe the Kings could have mounted some kind of comeback in the third, but by the time all these power plays were happening, the Oilers were already up 4-1. to one. And we'll get to it in a sec here, but the LA Kings, they've kind of been their own worst enemy. They have been absolutely horrible on the power play. They have, well, they've been generating some chances. I can't, shouldn't say they're horrible, but... Can you say they're horrible when they haven't scored in three games? So I guess we'll go with that. But the Kings, thankfully, for the Oilers' sake, have not been able to break through. The Oilers' special teams have just been on fire, scoring on the power play, keeping the Kings completely off the board on the penalty kill. So, yeah, that's really been the difference in the series so far. Let's go to the game stats here. The Oilers out shooting the Kings 41 to 28 tonight. Like I said, this wasn't the Oilers just getting the lead and then totally backing off. They were absolutely going for the kill tonight. They were getting this win one way or another. They get it done with a full 60 minute effort. 41 28 on the shot clock definitely shows that. The Oilers 50.8% on the faceoff dot to LA's 49.2%. The Oilers going 3-for-7 on the power play. And I think they did kind of let up in the third a little bit. They probably could have got more, but still three more power play goals for the Oilers tonight. Like I said, 3-for-7. The LA Kings, for all their complaining that the Oilers had seven power plays, they still did have five power plays of their own. No five-on-threes. I think the Oilers did have a couple five-on-threes they ended up with, but... The Kings still with five power plays on the night. They go 0 for 5. Like I mentioned earlier, they have yet to register a power play goal so far in this series. Uh, the Oilers getting out hit tonight by the Kings 35 to 22, but relatively close. The Oilers with 18 block shots to the LA's 11. The Oilers with five giveaways to the LA's 6. And the Oilers and Kings tied with takeaways at 4. So... That's basically the story of this one tonight, guys. The Oilers strong on the power play again. Three power play goals. Completely shut out the Kings on the penalty kill for the third straight game. And they have scored 17 goals in three games in this series. I believe that was some kind of record. And I think Leon Dreisaitl also hit a mark for fastest to uh, over 26 goals I think he's got now. Not so far in this uh, playoff run, obviously, but so far in his playoff career or something like that. So the Oilers' big guns came out firing tonight, got the job done in every single way. The defense was strong. Stuart Skinner, an excellent bounce-back game. The Kings had their chances, especially in the first and second when this game was a little bit closer. And Stuart Skinner, aside from one shot, like I said, that he had no chance on, shuts the door, and the Oilers come through with a huge 6-1 to victory to take the two games to one series lead. But yeah, this series has the potential to get even uglier in the games to come. These two teams do not like each other. Game four should be another good one on Sunday night. The Oilers with a chance to take a 3-1 to lead home to Edmonton for game five, and the Kings obviously will be looking for a huge bounce back game to try and even up the series. But the Oilers definitely needed to get a split here in LA after losing game two in overtime, and they're guaranteed at least that at this point. So I'm happy. I'm sure Oil Country is happy. Let's hope they can take a three to one lead on Sunday night in game four. I'll wrap it up there for tonight, guys. Let me know your thoughts on game three in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.